What's going on guys and welcome to the new video. I know why you're all here to see my review of the Noble CrossFit shoe. And I thought, what better time than two weeks after the announcement of Noble sponsoring the CrossFit Open, CrossFit Games, whatever they're going to be doing, to now give them a review because I've had these shoes for a little while now. And I have a couple of things to say about them. If you haven't yet, and I know like 85 to 90% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed to my videos, please go down, click subscribe, and if you're just gonna pass on and not subscribe, then uh, at least like it and then uh, get the hell out of here, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give my review of the Noble Cross Training Shoe. And let's start off with my first, or oh, how I came about, Noble. All right, so kind of the setup now. I've got a little bit in here. Rigs up from yesterday, vacuuming a little bit. Still got the one assault bike in here, just the whiteboard at the moment. Got that pedestal fan that I'll set up for this afternoon. All the rigs in place. Only got the original uh, plates and stuff like that, but hopefully this week all that will be in, all the new stuff. I've got the dumbbells in. And then uh, a couple of things I'm trying to sell. A front desk, which will have like all the sign up forms. Some mats I'm trying to get rid of. Stands. Yeah, just like kind of clearing stuff out. This is the gist of it. Got some stuff here. Scales for clients, soap, etc. Just like the, uh, that's the setup at the moment, as far as it is. Had morning class here this morning. Everything kind of like moving forward. I'm like super pumped. It's like kind of brought a new energy to like everything I'm doing. Been on the move, haven't really <laughs> even eaten yet today, but I'm getting in a flow, like vacuumed a bit, cleaned up, vacuumed. Uh, need to cut some of those mats over there. Um, if you have a look, I need to go like around the poles. So I need to cut those around there. Went to Bunnings, obviously got the fans, got some new Stanley blades and then they're a bit sharper and cleared out all the rest of my storage units. So I'm um, just gonna finish up a little bit more here. I'm only gonna have PTs at the moment for now in here until I get all the new stuff. And then I'll work out some kind of system uh, with getting clients in here and trying to build up my base. Ever since it's been leading up to this um, opening the gym I've had nothing but clients like kind of like not coming to training and then being like oh like I want to give my two weeks notice so it's been pretty tough like this gym has pretty much like sent my my bank account to zero same kind of thing as like when I was doing the equipment send it to zero and I feel like I then have to step up a notch and like do what I haven't been doing to get back on track so let's uh, see how we go see you soon Right, so I've got a fair bit of equipment uh, in here now. Just do a little quick walkthrough of it as I've set a couple of things up. Um, we've got over here, we have the storage, which I think I talked about before. Um, I've put all the benches together at the front of each of these. We've got the two rollers. There's one more that I've set up over here. One air bike. The air bike is the shittest one to do. So um, I've done one of them. I'll do the rest later, probably when I sell the other one too. I've got the three plyo boxes that I'll have to put together as well. They have to screw together. And then all the plates over here. Um, so they're all the bumper plates, which are gonna be cool. I think there's like jump ropes or something over there. But yeah, this is kind of like the general setup. All the dumbbells are gonna go over by the door with the kettlebells. All the cardio equipment will go along that wall. And yeah, this is kind of it at the moment. Bit of a mess, but it's Friday. And uh, so go up. So from the top, desk there, the workstation. And this is a layout. Got some extra dumbbells as well. Obviously, as a lot of you know, Noble are like crazy marketers. Like you will see them everywhere. Obviously in the CrossFit Games, I saw so many athletes wearing them. I went on their site and I'm like, oh, they've got some good colors. And like for me, I'm just like plain like, go black on top, I saw the gray on the bottom and I'm like, oh yeah, that could work. Went for that, uh, came around to Christmas time and I just went, hey, look, uh, can someone get me a pair of these shoes? And someone got me a pair, they were like $200. I was like, holy shit, I could have got like Metcons and then saved 20 bucks, you know what I'm saying? If I got those, 
But anyway, I got them, opened them up in the box, and to say the least, I saw them from the side, and I was like, oh, sweet, and then I look on top, and I'm just like looking at the material, and it's like, I don't know if you guys can see the shape. I don't know, mainly across here, across there, that I noticed, if you're from Australia, and you go into Kmart, you will find shoes that look like this. No word of a lie, and I said it to clients, I said, I got these new shoes, what do you reckon? And I go, they're going, oh, I don't know, and I just said, do you think they look like Kmart shoes? And they're like, oh, that honestly, that's exactly what I was thinking. To be honest, um, for rope climbs, uh, that the edge, because it is so like, I can't even get the camera to focus on there. The edge is very straight, so it catches on the edge really easy. Um, the material is okay. The comfort is okay. To me, like, I got, I got a pair of Metcons before. I got these in between. I got another pair of Metcons. I don't really like the Metcon 5s, but I got the Metcon 5s, and they're doing all right. I like the Metcon 6s and the look of them, so I'll probably get a pair of Metcon 6s. But to be honest, like, these Nobles, like, I haven't worn them in ages. I reckon they look shit. Shit. Actually, I, I don't like them. Um, I think they're very good marketers. That's what made me get a pair. They obviously had so many games athletes wearing them, like good looking girls wearing them, really ripped guys wearing them. Those people must legit not be training in any noble shoes like normally. Like unless they're on camera, they're not putting those on. I know they've got like nearly a million followers, so obviously they look like they're a reputable brand and they probably might get some people that are just getting into training and looking for some cross trainers. But to be honest, like I would not waste my money on these. If these were, a hundred dollars, I'd probably buy them. And I'm talking about a hundred dollars uh, AUD. So if you're in the US, I bought them for 200, they might be like 160 over there, but I got shipping and stuff as well. I might pay a hundred dollars AUD, which is like, yeah, what, $70 in US. So if you're watching this from the US, which I know some of you are, um, that's how much they are. Don't waste your money on these. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the review. I hope this kind of like brings an insight into what these shoes are actually like, because obviously you're gonna be seeing all these workouts and people wearing them. Oh my God, this person broke a PR wearing Nobles. No, don't get them. I don't recommend them. Stay Metcons if you're a Nano person. I've heard good things about Nanos as well, but like I haven't got them yet. But Metcons for me, Nobles, no way. See you in the next video.